A piece of art was destroyed over the weekend in downtown Mobile. Mobile police telling Fox 10 News they're now looking for two suspects after surveillance video showed one of them kicking over that oyster sculpture in Bienville Square. Our Ashlyn Nichols is in downtown Mobile with more on the story. Ashlyn, you talked to the artist. Uh, what did they say? Yes, I did talk to the artist Lenisa Byron and she's pretty devastated. She says this comes as a blow after her oyster stood in Bienville Square for 10 years where there was once a colorful sculpture like the one you see behind me. Now it's completely gone. You're attacking a piece of public art for the city. You are taking something and you're making it look ugly when we're trying to make it look beautiful. You are doing something in a reckless, careless way and it doesn't reflect what and who we are as a city of Mobile. Ginger Wo Chan says she was devastated when she heard the news that her oyster sculpture had been knocked over in Bienville Square. I was really taken aback. I was shocked. Um, I just had my 40th birthday and I found out that news. And as much as I was shocked about it, I know what this piece represented to our community and the people who enjoyed it for the 10 years that it was here. This surveillance video capturing the moment when a suspect ran up, kicked it and scampered away. MPD is looking for the two suspects in these pictures. It's a thoughtless act, according to Wochan. Your decision takes away or defaces something that is not yours and that brings value to our community. It's completely wrong and it doesn't need to happen. The oyster sculpture was one of 12 works of art that make up the oyster trail in downtown Mobile. Wo Chan says the piece was special. The piece is very special to me because I've had people for the last 10 years tag me in photos, comment to me, tell me that this is their favorite shell. Children come up to me, that's you. And you know, their parents tag me at pictures and it connects me to the community. Wo Chan has high hopes to replace or repair the lost emblem. I'm definitely open to creating another piece in this spot that would represent that piece again and making it bigger and better. And if you think you know who the suspects are or where they could be, call the Mobile Police Department. MPD says the suspects could be liable for hefty fines of property damage. For now, reporting live in downtown Mobile, Ashley Nichols, Fox 10 News.